At Falling Walls Engage, we're interested in finding the best projects around the world that are breaking down the walls between science and society. But also, we're interested in putting into the spotlight projects which are also are often overlooked or hidden in the background of other work. So yesterday, we heard from 21 projects from around the world, every single one of them doing amazing work, impressive work, and every single one of them not just breaking down the walls between science and society, but bringing communities together as well. So I'm absolutely delighted to present the Falling Walls Science Engagement of the Year for 2019. Please welcome the winner of Falling Walls Engage, the Falling Walls Science Engagement of the Year 2019. Breaking the wall of impersonal learning experiences. Kishot Navaret Naraja, Dream Space Academy, Sri Lanka. Hi, everyone. So I think uh, I have a little bit shorter time than the others, so five minutes, but yeah, great. And uh, <clears throat> there's another thing that I have to tell why uh, the Kishod Navarat Naraja was mentioned in the audio and then why I'm speaking, I will probably tell at the end of the, the story. So I will keep it short. So all the great changes are preceded by chaos. And um, this may not be true for a lot of people, but it's actually true for us in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka was a, was a country uh, in a war uh, for 30 years, and then we had bigger natural disasters. And this actually made a lot of international aid organizations to be harbored uh, in, in Sri Lanka to provide uh, a lot of things for free. So in the last 30 years, this has been a problem because Sri Lanka was always getting solutions uh, developed by foreigners uh, for the local problems and, and with, with, uh, with very small percentage of local people involved. However, because of this, we have lost the ability to innovate ourselves and, and solve our own problems because we get things for free. So you can, as you can see that you know, Sri Lanka stays in the, in, in the least innovative country and um, um, how we wanted to solve this problem. So, we created Dream Space Academy with four uh, ideas or four uh, concepts as a foundation of the pillar. So the first one is the project-based learning. So basically, we want to provide a platform for building capacity in several uh, departments of science, something as electronics, mechanics, wet lab, where we were growing algae, and gastronomy, where we, were, uh, uh, where we want to provide uh, find like alternative food and also um, probiotic drinks from hibiscus. And we have a, a textile lab where we want to work with um, extracting silk from the silk worm without killing that. And, and material lab where we were able to work with uh, 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 biodegradable uh, material. So this is, this is the core part of the Dream Space Academy where we build all this capacity. However, we know that, that we cannot just rely on just yet another STEM or a robotics or so to say the makerspace education because we need to solve our own problem and we need to invent ourselves. That's how we created this community innovation model where we a group of people, trained uh, experts, they solve a local problem by using open source innovations. However, we need a lot of support from the international uh, team, so that's how they, we have this. And then we scale these prototypes into products that become the social entrepreneurship, a product that solves the problem in, in the local community. So, so what exactly DreamSpace does is, is that DreamSpace is a community innovation center that tackles socio-economic and environmental challenges using project-based learning. So we have grown into, into, into bigger groups, and then we have, this is the first photo is from, from our town, and then we have adopted a jungle uh, uh, village school with 104 kids, and then we have another center, we have art and cultural even running, and we have been recognized by several uh, prestigious awards, such as Duke of Edinburgh Award and Stockholm Water Prize, as a regional coordinator to evaluate the application to send those youngsters to UK and Sweden. And then we have been collaborating with several international organizations on this. However, I just want to talk a little bit more about uh, of, of, of breaking the multidimensional wall here because the problem is not only about the engagements, about the social, economic, and political issues that we face. 
Today, I want to really share a small story. I mean, I want to finish it um, like about signed engagement. Uh, we have been, uh, when we were announced that uh, we got this, uh, we are the finalists of, of Falling Walls, I really wanted to bring my whole team because this is one of the incentives for our team to get the international exposure. However, um, after providing several documents, the German embassy in Sri Lanka rejected us, saying that uh, our reason for traveling to Germany is not trustworthy and we, we don't have enough financial background to, to be in Germany. So I decided, okay, I'm based in Berlin, so I decided, okay, I will pitch in, in, in place of my co-founder, and, 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 but still I don't want to let this go. So I really want to fight, because today we are talking about breaking the wall. And I really fought for it, and, but still, after remonstration, we were able to bring Kishot, actually he arrived directly, uh, please come. And uh, <laughs> he arrived just one, one hour before our pitch. And Germany might have demolished the wall in, 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 within Germany, but I believe that Germany should not build a wall around Germany. And I don't know how many of such people would have lost opportunities uh, by rejecting the visas. Or, um, and we know that there's also another, star, another uh, team from Libya is rejected. So um, we are building the change that we want to see in the world. And uh, if, you are, if you are interested, uh, please uh, invite us, support us, and speak about us. Thank you very much.